All right, guys, so fresh off of doing the Bass Ghibli um, comparison to the Grand Lusso, I figured I'd do a Grand Lusso versus Grand Lusso video. So this is Ron's Rides. I am here at Maserati Alfa Romeo, Daytona Beach, and we are comparing and contrasting the Grand Lussos. Since the new 2018 Grand Lusso, um, just G Ghibli just came out, it is very, very much um, I would say a little brother, a little sister to the 2017 uh, redesigned Grand Lusso for the Quattro port. So you'll see the styling cues um, kind of go over from this car to that car. So I just kind of wanted to show you where a lot of the design and styling came from for the 2018. It started here. So let's go and see what we're talking about. So right up front here, you'll see with the Grand Lusso Quattro port there, or I'll say QP just to cut it short. Big grill, okay, big wide mouth grill, chrome black on the gills, okay? Big wide mouth grill, chrome black on the, gr uh, on the gills there. Same exact thing. Okay, then you go to this side, chrome up top, black surround on the grill go back this way chrome up top black surround on the grill we'll start on this side now chrome trim on the front bumper cameras on the bottom lip of the bumper we'll go here chrome trim cameras right there on the lip now, obviously the bumpers are a little different. That looks like it has like a three piece front lip to where this is just the two. It's a little bit wider. This closes the gap. Wider grill. Headlights and stuff are different, but bumpers the same. You're also gonna get between the two, the same uh, body color side panels side skirts body colored and the grand lusso badges on each side but yes these side skirts will go all the way up to the car and match the body color of the car uh, like i've said plenty of times in the other videos so not much on the side you know between the two i mean you do have different vents on the side here for the intake to where these you know are chrome all the way around more of a teardrop look this has a different shape with just the chrome going this way now let's run around to the back um the landscaper kind of messed up the back of this uh, this uh grand lusso here so it caught and caught me off guard so excuse the dirtiness of the qp grand lusso here but it's a little dirty but you'll be able to get the gist um obviously the taillights are different for the qp opposed to the ghibli but you do have this same styling okay so you have your reflectors there that are very thin and sharp Okay, and then you have your body um, back bumper body match on the side with the matte black and the body colored diffuser in the center. Okay, so you have body colored matte black and then your bumper along with the sharper, more angular reflectors longer as well and the side panels that are also on the back bumper body colored instead of matte black going all the way across. Let's move over here to the Grand Lusso Ghibli. Same thing, body colored, black, then your, you know, bumper there. Then you also have the same side piece that is one color body matched on the side instead of matte. And then you have the sharper, more angular reflectors. Same exact thing. So they really took the styling cues from the QP. They said this works and we'll do it with the Grand Lusso Ghibli. And it's a big difference, you know, between the older one and the newer one. So now they both look spectacular, besides the QP being dirty. <laughs> um, but they both pretty much look the same, besides, you know, the um, taillights. They're pretty much the same. I mean, you really can't tell much of a difference. And I know people who aren't really up to date with Maseratis won't be able to tell you the difference. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So we'll swoop around the cars. Same 20 inch Urano wheels as well for both cars. Headlights are different. They do have the new 
full LED style headlights for 2018 for the Ghibli Grand Lusso compared to the QP Grand Lusso, which has had its own headlight style for a little while now. So they're not gonna, you know, look the same there at all. But other than that, it's really hard for you guys to tell the difference. Now with the 2017 QP, you do not have the extra horsepower. This is 404. It's the S model, so it's 404 horsepower. To where the S model of the Grand Lusso um, Ghibli is 424 horsepower and an extra 20 foot pounds of torque as well. So, you know, you're getting a faster car on this side, but a shorter car compared to the Quattro Port, which is a little bit longer. And I don't know the exact numbers, but it is longer than the Ghibli. Ghibli is shorter. So, you're going to get a little bit more leg room um, in the driver's and back seats uh, for the QP. That is a big difference. Now, if we were talking about the QP GTS as far as the engine goes, that's 523 horsepower, so that's a big difference. But this is an S model, so you can go with a Grand Lusso S Ghibli or a Grand Lusso S QP. You know, you choose. Now, they did change a few things as far as like electronic steering and soft closed doors and stuff for the 2018 Ghibli. Um, so they are a little bit, you know, different technology differences. But other than that, what do you guys think? Which one would you go for? Grand Lusso Ghibli, Grand Lusso QP. Going inside the QP, you do have the Zinnia interior here in red. Um, there are a couple of different styling cues as far as the stitching goes between the Ghibli. There's more stitching on the QP, like going across here, going on the bottom there. Um, a little different styling here above the glove box and going across the center console. But essentially the same thing as far as tech goes, um, you know, and, and the base layout is pretty much the same. Like I said, different trim and stuff around there as well. Same for the Ghibli Grand Lusso. Zinnia leather. Pretty much the same layout. Not as much options on here, but it pretty much does the same thing. You know, there's not much to talk about about the interior, like I said, besides those two things, but... That's pretty much it, guys. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. Definitely like the video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more amateur Maserati Alfa Romeo videos. And definitely leave a comment. I want to know what you guys like better between the two. Which one would you spend your money on? Especially with the QP being a little bit more money, well over $100,000. What would you guys go for between the two? Now that the 2018 is out and there is a Lusso of the Ghibli. It's, uh, it's going to be some competition now. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. You guys be easy. Stay blessed. See you in the next one. Peace.